on this episode of Tech Week, Microsoft Office 2007, the new features of Microsoft Office. As part of our continuing new series, today we will show you Word. This is segment one. Welcome to this edition of Tech Week from our new studio. My name is Jacob. Today we are going to review Microsoft Office Student Edition 2007. Most people still use an older version of Microsoft Office, such as 2003. For the latest versions for Mac users is still Mac Office 2003, but for Windows users it is Office 2007. Microsoft Office 2007 comes in five different versions. Office Home and Student Edition comes with just the basics and is an affordable upgrade for anyone. It is a non-commercial license. It includes Word for word processing, Excel for spreadsheets, PowerPoint for PowerPoint presentations, and a newer program called Microsoft OneNote, which we will discuss later. Today we will be covering the new functionality of Microsoft Word and how it is different than previous versions of Word. In later Tech Week productions, we will cover PowerPoint, Excel, and OneNote. Hello. Um, we are here with Microsoft Word. This is a non-commercial copy. Uh, this is the Home Student Edition. We're going to evaluate uh, Word here. You can see that all the things on the top, the uh, file menu, the insert menu, has all been replaced by this thing here called the ribbon. And what it does is it has everything that the top menu bars used to have, and it's all down here. And it puts it into nice, convenient, easy to use toolbars. So everything is nice and easy and good to use. Um, a thing that is different, to get like back to the old paragraph settings like you did in previous words, you would click that button there. Um, you can go in and change settings here. It's just like the old word there. Um, if I type in some text here, I can go in and it'll format it for me with the default formatting that you can change. Um, the font is automatically different. This is really easy to do mail merges as you just create the label and go into start mail merge. And you can choose letter and then you can type a new list and just type your letter and it'll merge it just like that. Easier than the old one. Spell check, all that stuff has been moved over to the review tab along with thesaurus and research and translate. Um, tracking changes again, marking, editing, um, protecting document. All the view stuff has been moved over here. You can go back and forth between other windows by using that and you can run macros again there. The insert tab has everything you need to insert. Now Word comes with uh, several templates that are a lot easier to use that the previous Word versions actually did not have. So this makes formatting a lot quicker and a lot easier with this version of Word. Like if we wanted to create a cover page, we just click the cover page button and choose. So if we wanted to use this as our cover page, it just loads in like that. And all we need to do is type in our stuff and keep going. Page breaks, blank pages, inserting tables is easier than ever. If I want to insert a table, I just go into tables and insert it like that. Now you see it's the same thing with pictures. And it comes up in table tools and this little added thing. So all the extra stuff that might have popped up on the screen for tools is now up here in the ribbon. So I can change the style, go into borders and shadings. You can do all the borders and that like previous through here. And just like in the other things, you can click this button and it'll bring everything up the way it used to with the old word. It's nice and easy to format that way. If you're making a lot of changes, like you can merge cells and be able to see that easier here. You can merge cells, you can 
split cells. You can do just a whole bunch of things. You can change, if you want to change these heights to one inch. Just go in here, put that. It's created those into one inch squares. Um, a nice new thing is this office menu. To save it, it automatically saves it as a .docx, which is a new file type that will not work on old versions of Word. If you want to save something that will work on an old version of Word, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save it right over here. And when you go to Save As, click Word 97 to 2003 document, and you can save it there. It's all compatible. Uh, your print menu and all that. You still have Quick Save and Undo and all that there. Um, add digital signature, send, publish, close, open, print, all that stuff is now in this nice little file menu. We're going to go ahead and click New. You can automatically go into Office Online. It'll download templates. So if I hit Invitations for Business, it'll sync right up with the Internet, and it'll show me. So say I want this invitation here. Just hit Download, and it'll give it a minute, and it'll check to make sure that you didn't make a copy of it. Um, usually it won't do that, but every once in a while it will. And the Genuine Validator doesn't always work. Um, so now it's downloading the seminar invitation that we just got. We're going to be talking about the page layout function up here. So if you want to change margins, you just hit margins, and you can change all your margins. It has like the Office 2003 default right there. And all the defaults different here. Everything is automatically two-point spaced um, when you start typing. Uh, again, then orientation can be changed by going in through page layout and up to landscape. The size of your letter, columns. Now here is the, um, again, if like you wanted to go in through paragraph, you could do that. And that's the same thing as going in through here takes you to the same place um, back to this it just loaded this right off of the internet uh, from the Microsoft website so all we would have to do is fill this in and we'd be able to print it um, if like text box we just click that it allows me to format the text box you can go in through 3d effects and change all the different sort of effects that you can do change colors, everything. You select picture, it'll come up with picture tools. You can rotate, you can align, you can crop, change positions, do shadows. If you wanted to go in with something like, we go ahead and undo that, and if we want to put this shadow behind it, it would put that there. We can change where the shadow actually goes and move it over using our tools here. Um, instead of transparency, it's all on brightness. Um, you can compress a picture, change the contrast of picture, and then even recolor the picture. And you can set a transparency color there. So like there it took out that exact shade of white. Uh, you can align things. Um, a nice thing is when you are actually working in like tables and that, you can go in and like type some text in here. And instead of having to do all the returns and all that, like some programs used to, you can select and you can vertically center and uh, horizontally center. Now to vertically or horizontally center something on a page, you can go in and change the um, the alignment, and it'll vertically center it. That's about it. Uh, it's quite a bit of an upgrade. It's a lot easier to use than Word 2003 or older versions of Word. It's packed with stuff. Yet it's uh, small enough to put it on 
a cheap computer. Um, we thank you for watching, and we hope you will watch more of our stuff. We will be back with part two and more with PowerPoint, Excel, and OneNote. You're watching Tech Week. We hope to see you again.